Recently from my green book, and uh, I also liked it so much I put it in the, the new Bible as well. So it's a really um, quite simple but authentic recipe. Uh, when I learned it, I learned it over in Kerala in the south of India, and they were using cauliflower. So you could obviously use cauliflower in this instead of broccoli. I like the broccoli, so I, I decided to, to, to change it and do it that way just because of the colors. There's a, uh, you'll see when it's finished, it's, it has some really nice color to it and the, the green just comes out and shines a lot more than the, the white cauliflower would. Um, also, I wrote this book for people like me who are not vegetarians. Um, I wanted to make, show, well, I really kind of wanted to show that, that uh, Indian food is, uh, vegetarian food is um, very good. <laughs> you know, it's just like um, you won't miss the meat when you make these recipes. However, if you insist, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this pan on right now while I'm thinking about it. If you just don't like the idea of vegetarian food, like I said, I wrote this book for meat eaters as well, uh, mainly, um, and you could use chicken in this. All the sauces in the recipes in this book are really good, served with chicken or whatever you want to put in there, paneer, whatever. Um, so it doesn't have to, you don't have to stay to it. Go ahead and use the recipes. If it's not one you pick up, if, you, if you've got the book and you don't pick it up very much because you don't want to cook vegetarian all the time, Read the recipes, look at the um, sauces and everything and think, oh, what would be good in that? And usually you'll find something that if you want to just kind of stray from what I've written, you can do that. So anyway, I'm going to start this recipe out. Um, it, like I say, it's, it's very authentic. Um, it's, it has a lot of nice coconut in it. Um, I'm using coconut oil today. And um, I'm not sure if anyone's ever purchased coconut oil before. I put this in a, a bowl of um, hot water before using it because when you purchase it at the shop or if you put it in your uh, cupboard, it usually gets really hard and uh, there's not much you can do about that. You can't pour it because it's hard. So you just go ahead and melt it in, a, um, in some hot water and then you got some very easily pourable coconut oil. Um, in the recipe book, I say that you can use ghee as well. Now that is not very authentic. They wouldn't use ghee in this recipe, but if you like a buttery korma type flavor, uh, it would be very good. So you could use ghee. You can also use just regular vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, if you like. So going over to the pan here, and I'm, I know some of you might be cooking this with me. Uh, I, I do want to show that I've got, uh, are you on the pan there? Yes, I'm on the pan. Yeah, okay. So I want to show, I've got some uh, broccoli that I, which I just kind of steamed for about three minutes. I didn't want it to be really um, cooked through because that would just, it would just turn mushy. So all I've really done is make it kind of, uh, so it's al dente. You know, you can stick a fork in it, but you wouldn't probably want to eat it yet because it's just too hard still. And it will continue cooking in this oil. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add some grated coconut. Now, this is frozen coconut, which I defrosted. I just bought a big bag of frozen coconut. And I'm not sure how much that is. I think in the book I say 70 grams, but I don't weigh things because I get angry at my scale. It doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and toast this a little bit in that oil to bring out a nice nutty flavor. And to that, I've got some roasted, we just uh, roasted some uh, sesame seeds. I'm going to put some of those in there too, about a tablespoon or so. I'll put some more in at the end of cooking as well. And then I got some peanuts. I'm just going to take a nice handful, so about that many or so. Put those in there as well. Give it all a good stir. And as this cooks, you'll see that the, the, the uh, coconut will begin to kind of, especially up here around the sides, will start browning. It's not necessary for you to brown it, but it does give it a nice flavor. See how it's kind of sticking there? It's going to start getting nice and brown around the edges there. There we are. To that, I'm going to add a good teaspoon of chili powder. And also, say about a teaspoon or so of turmeric. And that's going to give it a nice color. I might even add a little bit more. Turmeric's good for you, so why not? 
And I'm just going to give that a nice stir as well. Someone's asking unsalted peanuts. Uh, these are just roasted peanuts, and I don't. I, I think these were actually salted. I'll tell, I'll tell you. I'll try it. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I usually go for non not salted peanuts, but I think this is all we could get at our local shop. So, um, so I'll have to remember that when I'm seasoning it later, and make sure I remember that these are salted. Just give it a little taste. And Craig's asking, can you use desiccated coconut or just fresh? Um, I wouldn't use desiccated. I would. You could. This. This is. Um, like this, this is frozen coconut. You could, yeah, yeah, you could use desiccated. I would recommend, um, however, maybe put a soaking it in some water just to soften it a little bit. But it, it would work. It would work. Mark saying he's not a big fan of coconut. Can you substitute? Can you substitute? I would just leave anything? it out. Leave it out completely. If you don't like something, don't put it in, because uh, it just it'll ruin it for you. So just it's if you quite don't, a coconutty dish, this isn't is it? It, yeah. it is. A, yeah, there's some coconut milk in it too. So I'm not sure if you don't like the coconut. Yeah, it might not be the dish for yeah, you. It may not be the dish for you. <laughs> um, I think maybe uh, uh, there's a lot. This is definitely a yeah because it's from the south of India and they use a lot of coconut down there. Okay, just <coughs> sip. I've got some peanut in my throat. Great. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can talk without coughing. <laughs> So what I've added here is about a half onion. And Caroline, if you want to get me some water, that would be good. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to just uh, saute this onion. There's also about two chilies in there. So you can see some chilies there. That's uh, green bird's eye chilies. And we just want to fry this onion until it's quite soft. There we are, and it's smelling really nice there. So it's just really, by, by about this stage, I'm not sure if anyone's cooking this with me, but about this stage, you'll know what I mean. It just smells so nice, all these different ingredients. <coughs> all right. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. That's just grated ginger, about an inch or so. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> shouldn't have eaten that peanut. No, you shouldn't. It's not stuck, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. All right. Then I'm going to add some garlic. <coughs> All right. I'll try and stop coughing here. Now we're just going to add some tomato there, which is going to give it a little bit of moisture and also color. And to that, we're going to add our broccoli. So like I say, this is par-cooked broccoli. Les is asking if it's better to grind the peanuts down. Don't know if that's just because you were choking on one or if it's, uh, you can grind them down. No, I would say keep them whole. It's, 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 it's nice a nice, it's, yeah, it's a texture yes, thing. It's consistent, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. Let's see if I can break one of these pieces of broccoli open just so you can see roughly. See, it's, 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 it's really just par-cooked. It's, it's still quite tough. And to that, I'm going to add this coconut milk. And that's about 400 grams of coconut milk there. Nice thick coconut milk. Just give this a nice stir. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. This is one that when I was doing my book signings and stuff, back when it was okay to do that kind of stuff, this is what I made on stage all the time. Because it's just so different.
that, I'm just going to let that simmer there for a bit. Add a little bit more water. You don't have to have water. You can have it really dry if you want to, but I like mine with a little bit of sauce. I'm going to be eating this with uh, rice tonight. You see those colors? It's just, it's just really nice. It's vibrant. It's the reds, the greens, the yellow. And then you have all the different textures. And the peanuts. and This broccoli is going to cook really quickly, so I'm just going to kind of stick those down in there. Has anyone out there tried this one before? If you're watching right now. Maybe not, so it's time to do that. <laughs> well, no answers yet. Give them time. All right. <laughs> I just got to throw a th few more peanuts in there. Why not? And then I've got some more of these. Um, these. Uh, Mary's asking, is that about half a can of coconut milk? It's actually a 400 That was a full. Yeah, it's 400 full, milliliters. Yeah, 400 milliliters. It's quite a lot of coconut milk. That's why it's probably not the best one for people that don't like coconut. Well, this is actually a really thick brand oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, it is, yeah. The other brands are thinner, and you probably don't need to add some water. Yeah, see, yeah, I had to add one. some water because it was really thick. And you don't see that. It was very good quality, and I was surprised because yeah. I'm not going to mention the shop. I, well. <laughs> I'm not going to mention the shop I bought it at, but um, it is a, a national supermarket and I really thought it was going to be bad but it's actually a. some of the best I've bought but because oh, yeah. of that I had to add some water <laughs> not AS <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to add some salt I know let me just try it first before I do that so, uh, someone's saying is it similar to korma it um can be it's um it's it's mild but of course you can add a little bit more um chili to it so it doesn't have to be mild um I prefer mine a little bit spicier, but I'm making this for my daughter's having it with us tonight too. Put a little bit of garam masala. So I didn't put very many chilies on there because she passed it right back to me. Gavin Fairweather's made it before. He thought he, he thought it was bitter the first time. He, he thought he made it. Yeah, if it's garlic. bitter, then the that's probably... The second time it was fabulous. So yeah, good, good. Corrected it. I think when you came, Gavin came to our, our um, one of our classes. I think you mentioned that at the class too. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad you got it worked out there. So look at that. That's just so nice. And you know, if you want it to be more like a, a, a korma, like a korma, you get a um, takeaway. Add a little bit of cream to that. Someone's saying, did you add sesame seeds? Yeah, yeah I, I added them at the beginning. the beginning. And I'm going to add some right now as well. Just a little bit, just to top it all off, make it look nice. I can turn that off now. Pam just saying, Pam saying, what did you add before the salt? Um, uh, garam masala. Garam masala. Yeah, garam masala. All right. So, are you still on the pan or where I'm are we? I'm on the pan. I'll come back to your face now. All right. Hopefully you've stopped choking. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so anyway. Yeah? Yes, I'm on your face. Great. Okay. So that's it. You know, I just made this in about 20 minutes. Very easy to do. Um, like I say, I, only cook, I, I just steamed the broccoli for about three minutes because it doesn't take long in that hot sauce to cook. It's broccoli. Um, so um, it, uh, there's just so many flavors from, that, from the roasted sesame seeds to the peanuts and the coconut and the chili powder. I put quite a lot of chili powder in there. Not too much. It's not overpowering. And the turmeric, which gives it a nice yellow glow. It's, uh, it's just one of my favorite recipes from the book. And um, yeah, someone's asking, is it in the Bible? I think you mentioned it is. Earlier, yes, the Bible yes. And the vegetarian so it book. is started out in this book, the vegetarian book, and now it's also in the Bible. So it's uh, it's one that you should um, definitely give a try. And like I mentioned early earlier, if you're just not certain and you're just not ready to take that vegetarian step, you can use other things in it as well. Prawns would be really nice in that sauce. Chicken would be really nice in that sauce. But um, this is one that we, we like to make all the time. And uh, it's, uh, we do try to eat a, a couple of vegetarian meals every week. And this is often one of them. So um, it's uh, definitely give it a go if you, if you like. Uh, I just want to let you know also that on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing one also from, it was actually originally from my blue book, The, the Curry Guy Easy. But it's also in this one as well. And that is uh, chicken chat. So a lot of people have asked me to do chicken chat just because it's such a popular starter. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, that will be on Wednesday at 520. 
uh, GMT. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I actually cooked it today too because I'm working on my blog and trying to give step-by-step -step pictures and everything so everyone can kind of follow those as well. I'm going to hopefully get that out tomorrow so you can see it before we actually do the uh, cooking on Wednesday. But um, it's really nice. It, uh, it's, it's a strange one, really, for some people because, I mean, obviously, if you like uh, chicken chat uh, when you go out, well, then you'll know it has cucumber in it. And that just kind of seems weird to me to add cucumber to a hot curry, but it's actually really nice. So you liked it too, didn't you? I did, you? yeah, it was different. Yeah, yeah. So it has a little bit of cucumber, some tomatoes and stuff. And it just, it's just a really nice all-around curry. You have it with chapatis or whatever, just as a starter. Um, but it, it also works very well. If you wanted to, you could have it as a main course as well. Do we have any questions? Just or a quick question. Um, can you put red peppers in instead of tomatoes in, into the, into yes, the broccoli curry? Yes, yes. It's it's it, the whole idea behind the veggie book was um, giving you ideas of what you could do with different curries. And for example, if I were to make this normally, because curry leaves are my favorite herb, I would throw curry leaves in that. But when you're writing a book and you have to have recipes that vary a bit, uh, I decided to leave them out of it because I wanted them someplace else. So I didn't want to have every recipe having curry leaves and every recipe having this or that. So yes, when you, when you're, if you like the, the look of that, but you don't want the tomorrow's add some other color. You see, use some red bell pepper or whatever you feel like putting in there. If it sounds good, it will be. It'll be fine. Anything else? I think or? that's it, it. Yeah, until Wednesday when people are looking forward to watching you make your chicken chat. All right, great. Well, I'm looking forward to making it and we will be making it, like I say, on Wednesday evening. And uh, if you haven't yet, give this broccoli curry a go. It's, uh, like I say, it's one of my favorites from the book. And uh, Hope you uh, get a chance to give it a, a give it a try. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on uh, Wednesday evening. And uh, yeah, see you then. Thanks a lot.